Notice my mouth is closed. I'm not dancing <laughs> with my mouth open or be over by it. <laughs> or jumping. <laughs> or jumping, yeah. But hello again. Thanks for joining us on another uh, adventure of Win Provecho. And today we are, I'm going to call the show Mini Meatloaf Mania because we're making a comfort food, which I think we all need about now. And nothing is more traditional with a comfort food than meatloaf. I know, I love meatloaf. But you can do anything with a meatloaf. It's sort of like the garbage can of meals. You just throw what's in the fridge, chop it up, throw it in the meatloaf. Let's see what happens. So we're trying a few different combinations. I'm yes. going to do an Italian version of a meatloaf, by the way, that I've never tried before. So this is kind of, I'm winging it on me and you at this point. We'll see. Yours is? Puerto Rican. I had never done it before. Oh, really? You didn't either? No. Okay. I mean, I've done meatloaf, but never this way. So we'll see how it turns out. All right. Well, uh, in the intro, uh, before we get started, to have a lot of fun and, and dance around and, and cook, cook a little bit. I do want to thank everybody for supporting us and watching us, and uh, hopefully we're distracting you from what's going on out there. I know a lot of you. And, and I'm going to learn how to cut the other way. Yes, yeah, you, you, you've been making certain viewers nervous about the way she tends to cut. She likes to cut things in the middle of the well, air. I learned with right. Grandma. That's how you how do she it. Did. She did it this way or that way. So. But Grandma's done a lot of cooking. There's a lot of experience there. I'm just saying. <gasps> uh, but anyway, on a serious note, I hope you are all well, you and your family as well. We know a lot of folks out there have, have suffered losses, and our hearts go out to them. Our hearts go out to all of the healthcare frontline workers, and as well as uh, the people who are putting food on our plate. And there's a lot of them braving yeah. and being out there in the public and allowing us to do what we get to do. So let's get doing what we want to do today. Yes. What do you got here, sister? So I got bread, white bread, an egg, and the meat. So we're going to mix it up. Yes, and one thing about meatloaf, you've got to get a little down and dirty and get in there with it. So uh, I mix it all. Okay, that's beautiful. All right. That's bad. But we're going to put peppers, and see, that's sweet peppers. Sweet peppers with icy onion. With the onion. All right. Now, see, what my mom used to do, they used to have the, um, the dried onion mix. Soup oh, mix, really? and she actually mixed that in. Yeah, I think my mom did it with that too. Yeah, it was probably. a big '60s and '70s thing, you know. Yeah, it everything came in a, came in a box. It, it came was in a box. Great. It was good. Monosodium glutamate all over the place. It was exactly. great, really good stuff. Here we go. Here. This is how it looks. Oh, it looks really appetizing. I'm, I'm all dirty, so can you is that do enough? It? Not a little bit more. What are you putting in there now? So I'm gonna put recao. Recao, it's a leave. It's Cilantro family, but it's a stronger smell and it's a long leaf. Maybe we can show them. Yes, this is, what, this is what it looks like. That's what it looks, it looks like. Looks like you can grow this as a, as a plant and, and put it in. Yes, and I think the other day I was doing another recipe and we talk about it because we I couldn't find it. Sometimes it, it comes in. It, it comes in a bottle. Yeah, we have a bottle. Show oh, so it's like pureed it's up and put pureed with, okay. with other kind of. Stuff. Right, 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 right. The old puree so. with other stuff. Right, 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 exactly. right. Exactly. It looks so like this. So if you want to be lazy, it's called. Is that Rocky? Rocky? Recao. Recao. Yeah. No, Recaito. Recaito. Yeah. She's correcting my Spanish Recaito incorrectly. Like little Recao. So that's right. Well, anything with an ito, you know. It's, it's little. Yeah, it's a little ito. It's a mix. Right? All right. Here we got the bowl of. Can I do it on the side or on that side? Whatever side you want to lay your meatloaf, I've always said it's okay. Okay. I trust you now. I know you long enough. Oh, but mine is going to be big. So do you think this size is appropriate? So now you made one long log, as they say. Okay, so, and now, I wash you wash my hands, hands again. So while she washes her hands, uh, so that one is set and done. We're going to come back with my attempt at an Italian meatloaf. No, 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 wait. We're oh. not done. No. Hey, you see, you want to cut me off and talk no, me to no, the side. No, no, but I thought you were then going to come back and you're going to do the sauce and show how you were going to make. You want to do that now? Okay. I wanted the meatloafs to be kind of set and sitting already okay. before you. I'm going to hit, <laughs> like this, hit the pause button. But so that they see you. Let's see. I'm going to hit the pause button. <laughs> come on. No, I can't. This is so good. This Wait, I've got some music lined up. So we're talking meatloaf, so you know what that means. I'm a genius. So clever. This will get the corny factor back up again. You you were probably just learning how to ride your bike when this first came out. I, I the train think I wheels never heard this song. You never heard your song. Paradise by the Dashboard Light. I just know a few songs. She's so innocent. 
you don't know what the song is about. No. Oh no, I heard this song now. Okay. Oh. She always likes to play innocent. Anyway, time for the Italian I'm meatloaf. Innocent. We we got the Puerto Rican meatloaf almost done. We're gonna show you the finishing touches. This to is his thing. This is my thing. Excuse me. Meat. This is my thing. We've got. If this is my thing, we've got a problem. So I've got an egg. <clears throat> now, typically, I'll be honest. I would have probably taken some stale Italian bread, soaked it in milk, and then you kind of squeeze out the excess. That's and, what I did. And mix that in. Yeah, it's true. It wasn't Italian bread though. So I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to use Italian whole bread. wheat bread. It just didn't feel right. So I'm actually using seasoned oh, Italian bread crumbs. But anyway, there's garlic, uh, roasted garlic powder in here, one egg, salt and pepper, and some red pepper flakes as well. So that's <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to mix up in this, and then I'm going to ask my assistant here. Oh, where is uh, she? Yeah, exactly. She. Well, Chucho, <laughs> the only one who actually does work around here. You're right. <laughs> I mean, seriously, he's like clockwork. All he does is ask for food. <clears throat> And in the morning, he comes. He's going to suffer when we start working. He's be Yeah, that's, that's very true. He's become our alarm clock, though. Every morning he comes now, starts the meeting. Eight o'clock. And knocks, the literally dog. knocks on the door. He bangs on the, on the bedroom door with his uh, little, his little cat paws. Well, what I have here. I have uh, olives. I've chopped mix. up Italian mixed olives, chopped up. Garlic. About three cloves of garlic. Sweet peppers. Sweet peppers diced and up. And these are? That's hot gabagol, which I'm going to drape over the top of the meatloaf on the outside. Uh, and I'll show you how Cabo that's going to come. Hot gabagol. Gabagol! Oh, Is it gabagol? So what I want also now for you to get uh, my way, throw a little uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Like I also, time. can you show this? I roasted some pine nuts. And I think it was on Easter, my in-laws family, they used to um, put pine nuts and raisins in the meatballs. So uh, I'm going to wrap the outside of the uh, meatloaf with the hot capicola. Sort of if you imagine some people wrap it in bacon, I'm going to use that instead. Mm. Uh, this is good because it's really spicy, so... Yeah, if you like, if you'll, yeah, a if you like a kick, it's, it, you'll get a kick. Uh, I'm going to put the pine nuts in here. Can you sprinkle those in here now? I'm going to work those in. Well. Now, did you see him doing anything? Well, he passed me the salt. That was it. Yeah. You know, I have all editing control, and your meatloaf could suddenly disappear from this episode, and it might only be Chris makes Italian meatloaf. <laughs> mozzarella. Shredded mozzarella. Just a little bit, because that's basically going to go on the outside as like well. Like that? Just that's it. A handful like that. And I'm going to work that in here, too. Work. There's my, my little loaf, my little baby. But here is what I'm going to do with my little loaf. I'm gonna take some breadcrumb. Oh, maybe I should move from here. And I'm going to sprinkle the breadcrumb on my little loaf. Wow, like so it's kind of almost breaded. Exactly, and this kind of gives wow. it a little bit of a crunch on the outside. I like it already. See what's going on here? And work with me, see? You stick around, you'll learn something. Yeah, I don't know right, what. I think I'm gonna lose in this contest. Is there a contest? Is there a contest? Yeah, we both like to eat. That's the kind of thing. Uh, if you have any comments, I mean, I love hearing the feedback you've been giving us already. Uh, you can leave it on our Facebook page. I don't know what, what, you what you want to see more of or less of, <laughs> which would be, don't say both of us. Uh, but <clears throat> all of the episodes are on chrissaminoweather.com or you can help us out by going to YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, which is Chris Cimino Weather. <laughs> I sense a trend. Uh, but anyway. You know, and just leave information there for us, leave comments there. Uh, this is about you as much as, as it is about us. We want to kind of do this thing together. There's now, the meatloaf like that. Now, wow, yours is very tiny. <clears throat> I've got enough problems right now. Can you leave me alone? All right, so there's my tiny meatloaf next to yours. Uh, so, like, wrap it, wrap around the whole top. I'm gonna, bring, I'm gonna bring this into view a little bit better for you, so you can see. What I wanna do is, I'm going to let this cook for a while and brown for a little bit. Then, midway, I'm gonna to take tomato sauce, drape that over the top, and sprinkle the last of the shredded mozzarella. So it'll be cheese on top, with the sauce on top of the capagol. Maybe I should brown. Loaded meatloaf, baby! Should I brown mine? Oh, somebody, somebody just got an idea from somebody else. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you know, 
So we're just gonna pour this whole can of tomato sauce on top. Catadina! Oh, I don't know, that's not Puerto Rican. Should've got a Goya one. Goya, that, that, that's right. Anyway, and then we're gonna, just gonna put some onion on top. Raw onion. Some slice, some cut. However, it's gonna be, doesn't matter. We're gonna put it really? on top. Just, and that's it. Wow. It looks gorgeous. We're gonna bring the world together through meatloaf. I think that's our. I realize now I've been out of work for almost ten months. That is my. Is that's my goal. That's it's my. For hiring. Oh, what's this? I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of. Ah, uh, see, you wouldn't have done that if I didn't do that, would you? All right. We're gonna be back. I'm gonna show you when I take it out. If it's been browning for a bit. Oh, this is heavy. It is. It's heavy on your side. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put my tomato sauce and mozzarella on top, and we'll go from there. And we'll see you guys. And then in, he's uh, gonna cook the sides in the meantime, and I'm gonna go and just watch something. I'm gonna cook the sides. Do you know any meatloaf songs? I know the bait, the the most famous ones. Yeah, what's that? I don't remember. Very famous, obviously. <laughs> and I will do Here it is. anything for you. Here it comes. My air guitar. Aren't you glad I didn't have any wine? These intros in the 70s. Oh my god, this takes too long. Just... I could almost get a job during this intro. Already. We made it again to the dinner table, our favorite place. Uh, Great. Here we are plated. I have some of my Italian meatloaf and some of my Puerto Rican meatloaf. And we're going to give a little. Try. Try the Puerto Rican one is strong on it's flavor. Strong. Imagine that the Puerto Rican would have strong on flavor. <laughs> Shocking Pretty news good. once again from the world of Win Provencio. <laughs> so let's eat. Let's say goodbye. Thanks for joining us Wait, again. Let's try the Italian one. I'm not trying anything. I don't like to eat on camera. You're the one who likes to eat on camera. I was told many many years ago by it's somebody, good. don't Stop ever there. eat on camera. Like, really? Yeah. Most people watching don't like to watch other people this eat. This is a cooking thing. You have to eat. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, let's say goodbye. Oh. They're not going to sit here and watch us eat dinner for the, for the next half hour, 45 Sorry. minutes. I mean, it's difficult enough to get through the show, you know. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.